So, just a two goal deficit to make up then. Nothing drama, we can do this. Let's do this. What's up guys, Chasing Lane here for episode number 88 of Passport to Poland. And today, as you can see on your screen, we face the second leg of our game against PSG, where we were beaten 2-0 at home in the first leg. Before we get into the game though, although you can see there's a lot of news like players not registered, players suspended, etc. A couple of things to get you caught up on that happened between today's video and yesterday's. Um, first of all, I brought in a brand new player. If it will show me, come on, faster, there we go, thank you. Um, in fact, I brought in two new players. Uh, Lucas Klima came in, a £2 million uh, defensive, sorry, defensive midfielder. Uh, from the Czech Republic, signed from Sparta Praha. Uh, he is decent, he's not too bad. He's already played a few games for us. Um, played a couple of games for us. He can't play in the Champions League, he's cup tied, but he's played a, few, a couple of games for us and he's looked pretty good so far. So that's Lucas Klima. Um, and also, to complete our Czech spending through, we signed this guy, Adam Turek, who is Klima's understudy, as far as I can tell, in. Uh, in the Sparta Prague team, so they, they're going to be a bit upset that we've signed their best defensive midfielder and his understudy. Um, but he's also come in for just shy of a million pound. He looks like again developing into a decent player. So two good signings for the future. That's the way it's been. Let's have a look at the schedule so you can see what we've missed. What you've missed since the last PSG game, we played Fitzu Lutz, uh, beat them two 0 with uh, Sindelar and Jordao scoring. That was a game in which Tarek made his debut. Uh, against Lechia, uh, we also won 2 0 with Sindelar and Ribeiro getting themselves goals. Um, and again, well, Lucas Klima got to play his, his first game for the club in that one. And then we've just played Legia Warsaw. We beat them 4 1 uh, with a brace for Sindelar, goal for Liss, and a goal for Jordao. So our Portuguese Legion and the new signing Sindelar both doing very very well for a Shehak also played in that game and David Vozniak continued his development uh, looking at the league table before we just quickly go into the game we're currently sitting 13 points clear of Lechia at the top of the table um, so for those of you playing along at home we need to be 21 points ahead to, or at any point to claim the title which means if for some reason Lechia and Legia lose their last three games and we win them we would already be champions before the league even splits just a weird fact um a few players always well, sent out on loan to vista krakow uh who just seem to want to loan our entire squad so they've got jason campbell ricardo M M M moreno they've had will booth for a while so yeah keep an eye on them keep an eye on them and uh, also um the other the other transfer out was lopez uh let me get there let me go there please thank you uh, there's a few players but on loan on deadline day or a few players disappeared from the club uh, but the most important one was Daniel Lopez who we saw previously uh, I think we saw him in the episode before last he was the guy that scored a hat-trick on his debut I thought why not send him out to Vigri and see if he can get more first team football there he's playing he's not scoring but he's playing so we'll keep an eye on him as we go right uh, no one else important when it was a bunch of guys to Vista Krakow. Bernd Heskamp got sold. That was pretty much it. No one cared about Bernd Heskamp. I forgot I had Bernd Heskamp until they bid for him. So, our team our team to start today's game is Wilson in goal, Francis, Stuart, Bang, Angel Astri, Rico, Ribeiro, Jordao, Dostalek, Sindelar and Sterling with Belodi, Devine, Liss, Shimchak, Bozelski, Longstaff and Filet on the bench. Uh, I chose Dostalek over Liss. Uh, purely because why not? It was, it was uh, actually, I say purely because why not? It's because Dostalek can play in, in a deeper role in midfield. Should I need to drop that 5 4 1 diamond, I can then move um, Jordal back uh, into the defence and I can drop everyone back basically. There was a logic behind it, but I'm hoping we'll, we'll, we'll ignore their lineup because it was scary. <laughs> I'm hoping. We'll see something good today. Uh, Bernardo Silva, there's nothing we can do about that. Matty Longstaff has had an injury problem, so he's not going to be playing. Dave Black is suspended. 
so we'd obviously rather have him. I'm very happy with Nick Francis at fullback. We're currently, I think, 22, 23 games unbeaten in the league. It's absolute madness. That team's also absolute madness. At least they've done us the favour of not deploying Neymar from the start. <laughs> For all the difference that'll make, they've not used Neymar. Um, right, we're, we're, we're still okay. We're still in the game, 10 minutes in. We'll try and get creative, see if we can get something from this. A 1-0 win would be lovely. Just any kind of any kind of scoring against PSG would make me feel good. But Grimaldo has picked up the ball on the left-hand side. And Kovacic has had a shot and Wilson has made the save. And things can get... Also, nice to see Football Index ad advertised around the, around the thing. I've made a lot of money on Football Index using my FM knowledge. And I might do a video if anyone wants it. Let, remind me in the comments. If anyone wants it, I'll teach you how to use FM to make money on Football Index. Um, because I've, like, tripled my money by using FM and Football Index. Um, not all of my money, obviously, just what I put in the account. But, it's yeah, they're, they're, a good, they're good companions to each other. Pretty sure my buying of each year's game is now funded by Football Index. As Bernardo gets himself across, uh, and Ji Young heads over the bar. Yeah, just just a random thing. Yeah, if you want me to explain that in a video, I'll do a video to explain how that works at some stage. Uh, remind me, remind me in the comments, and I'll do that video um, because you can use FM to make money without doing YouTube. Um, just a fun fact, right? Bang, ball forward. Doesn't really find his guy. Aya gets rid of it, but Dostalek picks it up. Rico to Jordao. We're looking at Alex Rico to be a big creative force in midfield today. As Dostalek plays it out to Francis. Plays through to Sindelar. Sindelar, second by the cherry. And Thomas Sindelar puts us a goal ahead at PSG. And is it even vaguely possible, vaguely possible, that the fairy tale is going to continue? Can we get past PSG? I don't think we can. But a goal... First half, just before half time, from PSG, from Sindelar against PSG, puts us in the lead. We only need to score one more goal to eat, to level things up on aggregate, and uh, who knows from there? Who knows? There could be literally anything in store this second half. We're just going to let the assistant manager handle all that um, because we just need to get into the second half and hope we can see a bit more of of similar. If we can get a second goal. I will drop to the 5-4-1 diamond. I will just try and ride it out and see if we can sneak through on penalties, I think. Unless we look like we're absolutely about to just turn this into a rout. It seems like the smart play. Wilson picks up the ball, plays it out to Mark Stewart. He finds Rico, Ribeiro, Dostelec. Ball through to Francis. Francis finds Ribeiro again, finds Dostelec. Back to Rico over the top for Angolastri. If he can get a cross in here, we'll be okay. He can. Dostelec. Over the bar from Dostalek, and it was so close. That was so, so, so close. And we're looking really, really good. This is like a few years ago when we beat the German team. Um, Leipzig. We beat Red Bull Leipzig randomly, like 4-1 on the last day of the Europa League 2 group stage. From nowhere. Like, absolutely out of nowhere. Uh, Divine can come on, I think, is the first sub we'll make. We're going to have to make a look, take a look at making more. But we'll try and keep things ticking along as nicely as we can in the meantime. Uh, I want to take Nick Francis off because he's tiring, but also I don't want to take Nick Francis off. It's kind of catch-22. Um, I feel like I... I feel like I have to. But I don't... Let's do it, let's do it. The instinct is occasionally right. We'll do that. And we'll see if we can make something happen. Um, and hopefully we won't concede this corner because Neymar is taking it. Let's get rid of that. We have conceded from the corner. Federico Chiesa, or Chiesa, however you pronounce that, uh, has scored the equaliser. And that's definitely ended our chances of getting ourselves through this round because... Okay, we score two more goals to level things up on aggregate. We win on away goals, but also, you know, you you wouldn't put your house on it, would you? Uh, Dostalek though picks up the ball. He's he's feeling confident. Ball back to Rico. Rico's got options around him and plays it out to uh, Bajelski on the right hand side. He finds Ribeiro in for Sterling. Kasaya Sterling scores a goal, 
and you need to pick that ball up and do something now let's go attacking what have we got options wise anything in anything in the toolbox uh Jordao, we're going to send on matty longstaff why not we need we need a goal matty longstaff is generally our guy when it comes to goals he's not but he's, he's a club legend so we'll hope he can contribute something in this last 10 minutes we'll try and get things forward we'll try and get things our way let's just get into there demand more demand more from the players and see if they've got one last goal in them one last goal changes absolutely everything for us but, but come on come on one last goal longstaff with a free kick whips it over Oh, doesn't quite find out one of our lads on the back post, but it looks like Sindelar has got there. Marquinhos will take it off him. Can we win it back? We can't. There's a big long ball forward. Reese Devine should get there first. Let's see if we can keep this in play. We can. To Wilson. Wilson needs to show a bit more urgency. Come on, buddy. I know you're not used to being involved in attacks, but we need this now. Rico to Ribeiro. Ribeiro forward. Finds Bajelski on the right hand side. Plays in Sindelar. Sindelar. Oh, he's won a corner. But he should have finished that. He's going to regret not finishing that. As Longstaff again with the corner. Whips it in. Where's it going to go? Anywhere. Anywhere good. Dostalek picks it up. Dostalek needs an option. Finds Longstaff. Longstaff. Who's he got around him? Anyone. Ball back. It's... Oh, Stewart just takes a dis deflection. And Strakosha picks it up easy. And let's, let's hope that Neymar doesn't punish us now he's picked this up. Let's get rid of this. Oh, Kovacic far too quick. He is us through. And that, oh, it's not quite the game. Bajelski gets rid of it. And we've got five left on the clock. Demand more. Let's go. I don't know what's just happened there. I've, I need to go back to live. Back to live, quick. Return to the live action. Pause it. Pause it for the last 60 or 40 seconds. Let's go all, all out everything. <sighs> See if we can get something out of this. Anything at all. We can't. It was a valiant effort. We've done well. We've beaten PSG in Paris. We can't complain too much. But I did think, I did think there was a small chance, just the tiniest chance we'd find our way through against PSG. But it wasn't to be. Our trip to Paris ends in a win and a defeat simultaneously. And we are out of the Champions League. But we're out of the Champions League, hopefully, with a decent, decent crust eight million pound in our pocket we've gone out let's just do the press conference because we haven't done a press conference in a while uh gives a chance to focus elsewhere delighted with our performance good chance or oh, good times um we can definitely be proud of how we played it made our team talk easier because sterling's winning goal will provide a monumental boost to him and the team some critics have spoken to the significant numbers of players on loan from your club and have accused us of stockpiling players how do you i mean they're part of the team. They're just learning. That's how that works. Right. Well, disappointment today, but also not because we managed to go to Paris. We beat PSG. We proved we belong in the Champions League and in the knockout stages of the Champions League. I can't complain about anything we've seen today. So I'm really, really happy with that one. If you're happy with that one, smash the like button and the subscribe button and ring the bell because why would you not? We're going to come back with, I suspect, the last game of the regular league season. I'll see how I feel when I get there. Um, also hit the, the socials below, the Twitter, the Insta, the Patreon. I'm chasing lamely on all of them. And uh, I'm also chasing lamely here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.